Hey guys, Helping Hands here, bringing you another tip of the week. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about listening through the fog of war. So this T-34 is going to move to the other side of the map now. I'm just going to go over to the German perspective, and like so. So I'm now, the Soviets are now my enemies. So now if I turn the fog of war off, we can't see the tank. However, by listening through the fog of war, we can tell where this tank may be headed. Look, there we go. A tree fell over, and all this, all the, and all this, uh, and this, and the parts of this wall is also being destroyed. So we can tell that a fairly sized heavy vehicle is go is moving through these areas. So, and oh, and we definitely know that because light vehicles can't do that. Here we go. It's, it's coming through here again. You can see where it's going. It's destroying all this wall, and only medium vehicles and up can uh, are able to do that. There you go. Destroying all of this fence here and this wall and probably the tractor goes down and probably that fence there as well. So you can tell with this T-34 path, to, you know, where it's gone through its path of destruction. There you go, and it's destroying those hedgerows, so it's going this way. And if I turn the fog of wall back on, there we go. There's the T-34. Okay, and show now we are moving on hi guys I just want to say something else as well here with this next thing that I've just found out myself is that you can only listen through the fog of war you can only hear the enemy engines if they're fairly close to your units okay so we have this uh, half track moving around the field here and if I turn the fog of war off I go to this player over here and then I turn the fog of war off we can now hear the half track leaving the area. I've now set it so that it'll come back and it'll do another circuit. So listen again, very carefully. If you listen out, you can tell which direction it's coming from. So here are my units, my pioneers. We are moving. And there we go. The half track sounds like it's to my left. If I turn the fog of war off again, and there it is. It's on my left. It's going around again. I'll turn it off, the fog of war off again. You can't hear it anymore. It's gone. It's 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 too, it's too far away for your pioneers to hear. So there you have it. You can your infantry or any of your units can only hear enemy units. Now that half track sounds like it's in the north, farther to the north. And look, there it is. It was in the north. There we go. So back to what I was saying. The you can only hear enemy units while your un while your own units are fairly close to them. As before, when you saw that T-34 and that half track moving across the battlefield, you could only tell that they were there due to the terrain that was breaking up. But you couldn't hear them because none of your units were there. It makes sense because if you can't hear it, if none of your units are in earshot of the enemy unit, then, you know, it makes sense that they can't be, you know, they, you shouldn't be able to hear it on the battlefield. Okay guys, we have to now the same with, another, with the T-34 going around the battlefield. Um, now be very careful and listen out for this vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to control to Soviets, turn the fog of war off. We can't hear the vehicle at the moment. Well actually we can, we can hear some kind of treads breaking. It sounds like it's coming from the south. And now we hear the rumble of the T-34's engine. You go a little hedge broke there. Oh, and now we got line of sight of it for a split second. But you can tell that by listening through the fog of war and looking at the terrain, we can tell where the unit is going. So, if I know this, if I know this for a fact, I can prepare for uh, where he's probably going to strike. So if I've just seen the enemy unit go this way and heard it go that, that way, I know that it's no longer over here. So there you go, you can see where it's going. Destroying that poor graveyard there. And it sounds like it's going south again. And now it's going further away and out of earshot. Well, barely, you can still just about hear it. 
So therefore, so now that you know that T34 is about, you can prepare for it. That's why listening through the fog board is crucial. All right there, I heard a clear sign of something breaking on the right. If I put the fog board back on, oh look, you can see it's there. There we go, it's breaking those hedges. And it's going out of earshot again. So yes, so once you know that, you know, you can hit you, by listening through the World of War and seeing, you know, and watching the terrain carefully, you can see where enemy units are heading and therefore you can prepare, prepare for it. I know that there's a T-34 on the battlefield now and therefore it'll give me a time to react. If I wasn't listening and the T-34 suddenly appeared and started attacking my units, I would have been caught by a surprise and I, lost, and I might have lost something. But by listening through the Fog of War, I can hear where it's coming from. And therefore, I can prepare for it. So I can land mine down quickly, or I could position, like, reposition my pack in order to face the direction that it's coming from. You know, it's very crucial. This kind, these kinds of things, like this thing where the C-34 is coming back around here now again. Put that back on. There it is. The English are fools, but they're not and yes, yeah, so you could prepare for it basically. So you know, the fact if your pack was facing the wrong direction, it could be fatal. Because if a T-34 came came up from you from the right hand side because you weren't listening, uh, and your pack was facing the wrong way, you know you, you could lose the you could, you could lose the game because it could take out one of your most valuable units, like a sniper, and that sniper might have been triple vet, for instance. So you've got to be really careful about listening through the fog of war. We shall now move on to German vehicles now, see if they they sound different. Because you've got to uh, remember that different vehicles sound different. So the M5 half drop that was moving around earlier had a distinctive sound uh, that the engines made. And the same thing with the T-34. Okay, here we go. Right, so the fuck we're off. Now with my Pioneer squad, I can hear that an enemy tank is approaching. There we go, I've seen it. This unit, so I can no longer see it. We are gone, but it's far enough, men. Yes, comrade. Have this pioneer squ this uh, squad here. But again, you can tell where the enemy vehicle is at. If you listen carefully, there we go. Just destroyed that, so I know it's around here somewhere. I, the AI is controlling it, so I have no idea what it's going to be doing. But now, because I'm listening, oh, and I can tell that it's now stationary. So it's it's now in this vicinity, but it's not moving at all. So if I turn the football back on, there we go. It's back. It's back. It's, it's, it was stationary, but now it's moving again. Turn the football back off. I can now tell it's moving again. Let's see where he's going to go with it now. Where's he going with it? Coming down here, I think. Yeah, I'm right. He's going in further down there. So if I'm, by carefully listening, I can tell roughly where his enemy tank is. So now, for instance, <laughs> just destroyed the side of a building. I can tell that he is uh, he's staying around this area. So now, if I had a Ziz gun, for instance, I can now pos position it this way towards his enemy vehicle because I know it's here. Using my pi my uh, engineers here to scout. And because it's an easy AI, he doesn't know how to micro panthers. He's also got a P4 and he's not even using it, but there we go. Turn the bug way back off. He's deciding to crush some troops. And he has spotted my uh, engineers. There we go, should disappear again. And where's he going now? He's crushing that wall. You need engineers on the way. He's over there somewhere now. Well, there you have it. There, there's the importance of listening through the Fog of War, guys. Uh, I hope this helped, and I hope to see you next time.